Hi, Will Anderson here. And Pete Anderson here. We just finished up our East Coast tour in February 2018 and we wanted to give you an update of all of our stops along the way. We visited Clearwater, Florida and played at a beautiful church there. Our signage for the concert was kind of funny. It made us look like secret agents and I think uh, Peter was playing the oboe in the shot instead of the clarinet. Apparently I play oboe. It was a sold out show and it was really fun. Um, we were right across the street from the global headquarters of Scientology. And we did make it out alive. Unfortunately, we did not get to see uh, John Travolta or Tom Cruise, um, but you know we're gonna tell our grandchildren that we got close. After we made it safely out of Clearwater, we went to Mount Dora, Florida, and we played at the oldest hotel in Florida. That's the Lakeside Inn uh, in Mount Dora, Florida. And if you've ever seen the movie The Shining, it's a lot like that. Um, actually, not at all. Uh, it's a beautiful hotel, and we played a Valentine's Day show there. We go there uh, every year, and it sits right behind a beautiful lake. Um, and we did see some alligators. Um, we got dangerously close to them. Uh, they were right up close to us. Very scary. Um, and we have finally spotted our first gator. You can see it there. Its little head is poking out. So this is about as exciting as it gets. Next, we went back to Miami and gave a performance for the Miami Jazz Co-op. And for this performance, we joined three more musicians from Miami in addition to our trio. We joined a very special trumpeter by the name of Brian Lynch, who really has been uh, one of our heroes for so many years. Um, he's won multiple Grammy Awards, and uh, earlier in his career, he played for Art Blakey and Horace Silver. So uh, this was Brian's opportunity to really become the honorary third twin. He did a great job leading the band. with Brian again soon. The performance was at uh, Jazz at Jackson, which is a beautiful park in Miami. So thank you, Rick Katz, and we hope to return. After that, we went to Orlando. We played at the Timaqua Arts Foundation, and it was a really, really special concert. Um, Benoit Glazer was the former conductor of the Cirque du Soleil, and he left that organization to uh, move to Orlando, renovate his entire home into a concert space, um, the concert space has three balconies. Um, he's got trumpets, saxophones, drums, bass. He's got all the instruments. Um, and during our show, we had uh, a painter painting on stage with us. They were really interactive, and our improvisations and tunes were inspiring uh, what they did. And after, they auctioned off the painting at the end of the show, and it went for a lot of money. I'm not going to tell you how much, um, but it was a lot.
Next, we went up to Augusta, Georgia, and unfortunately, we visited about two months too early because my brother and I have always wanted to see the uh, Masters PGA Tournament. Next year, we'll, we'll make it. Next time. year, we'll have to line up the scheduling, but we performed at a church there. Um, it was about 500 people. It was really a blast. The church sits right on the river, uh, and when you look over, that's South Carolina. We and only played a half an hour concert, um, but it was uh, really, really special. It was uh, for an organization called Tuesdays Music Live, and we hope to return. So next we went up to Wallace, North Carolina. And we played for the Wallace Friends of the Arts, and they're a wonderful organization that puts us um, in elementary and middle and high schools there. We gave one-on-one -on -one teaching. We gave large presentations in the auditorium. Uh, for everyone at the high school, um, and it's really special. Um, now, Wallace isn't uh, a large destination for people to go to. It's not a big city, um, so if you haven't heard of it, we hadn't heard of it either. And we played for a lot of students who weren't familiar with jazz. Uh, we played them the Pink Panther theme, the Flintstones theme, uh, a little bit of Star Wars, um, and you know anything that could get them interested in jazz music, so that was, um, it was fun. really exciting for us. So next we traveled to Abington, Pennsylvania, which is just outside of Philadelphia. A good friend of ours for many years and a Patreon supporter, Bill. Will, Will what's a Patreon supporter? Patreon allows our followers and supporters of what we do to contribute monthly to um, really help support the production of our YouTube channel. So uh, Bill Hoffman was one of the first contributors to our, our Patreon and uh, when he came, he came in the front row and we were able to give him uh, his complimentary signed CD. And also he's going to get some free concert tickets later this year. So thanks again Bill for coming to see us perform. Last stop on the tour was Lubbock, Texas. We actually made it all the way back to New York but the last stop we had to take two flights, uh, first from New York to Houston, then to Lubbock, um, and then after the concert we came back to New York. But this was a really special stop. Uh, West Texas is a really interesting environment. There's no trees, it's completely flat. Um, cotton. There's yeah, there's a lot of cotton. There's a lot of cotton fields, uh, but there's a concert series at the First United Methodist Church in Lubbock, and uh, they've had the St. Louis Brass, they've got tons of great groups coming in and the whole town is really built around Texas Tech University which has an incredible engineering school, a great basketball team, a great music department too. Um, but uh, this, we were treated really nicely and it was a really really great way to end our five week tour. And uh, we had a blast on the tour, we saw lots of places uh, with our uh, great guitarist Felix Lomero. The one snafu we had in going to Lubbock was that United Airlines gave Felix a very hard time about bringing his guitar on the plane, which um, almost gave Felix a heart attack. United. What happened to him? Uh, well, um, Felix is from Paris, so he has a kind of romantic charm about him. So he was able to charm these stewardesses into convincing them to let him bring on his guitar. But we made it back to New York with all of our instruments and it ended up working out. That uh, wraps it up for uh, this episode of Anderson Jazz Tours. We have a lot coming up very soon. We're playing at the Blue Note on March 18th. We're um, going to be going to Arizona, uh, Nebraska, Texas, Colorado this April, and we can't wait to bring you the information about that. Don't forget, if you like these videos, a lot of our uh, concert footage, you can support us on Patreon. Uh, which is patreon.com slash Peter and Will Anderson. You can get free CDs, free concert tickets, you can make recommendations about what songs we can play, all sorts of cool stuff. There are a lot of perks to the donation levels and uh, most importantly don't forget to like and subscribe our videos. We'll see you soon. Felix found a little friend. 
Felix, bring her with us. The Cat Whisperer, Felix Lomero. Cause United breaks guitar 